gotcha. Welcome to Hamiltonville Farm. Today's video is all about preventative and scheduled maintenance. Stick around. In this video, I want to talk about what I consider the one of the easiest scheduled maintenance that you can do on your Mahindra 4540 or 4550. And so that is your 150 hour service. I just went over 150 hours on mine, and so it's time to do it. It's super easy. All you need is a grease gun and perhaps a flathead screwdriver. You may not even need that. And so there's only four steps to do, so I want to dive into it, give you the particulars on how to do it. But at the end, I want to show you how I clean the hydraulic strainer, and that's part of your 50-hour service, and so I want to show you that process as well. So make sure you watch to the end. Make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well. We'd appreciate the support. Let's go get right into it. So this is a simple, simple checklist for the 150 hours in accordance with the operator's manual. I have done a video on the 50 hour service and I'll put a description or a little card up here in the corner. So if you haven't done your 50 hour service yet on your 4540 or your 4550, go check that video out. It's pretty thorough, pretty in depth. And uh, now for the 150, there's only four steps that you got to do and it's super, super easy, right? The first one is you got to check the coolant level. So let's go ahead and I'll show you how to check that coolant level. Okay, to check the coolant level, a couple things you need to consider. First of all, you need to make sure that the engine's cool, okay? Don't check a hot engine. On the 4540, 4550, a lot of other models, all you simply have to do is pull this little lid up or the um, top of the hood up here, and inside of it you have your radiator cap, all right? So you just simply, it's a visual inspection. You undo your top, look down in there, I've got plenty of coolant inside my radiator step one down three to go super easy we're trucking got the coolant level checked off step one down now we got to move on to step two simple you just check your co uh, connections for your radiator hoses all right this is your connections for your hoses you just look up here to make sure that uh, the hose clamps are tight there's no leaking on it whatever case uh, here, 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 so everything looks to be in order. It's not worn. Everything seems to be in proper working order. And the four hose clamps that we have on there are all secure. Everything looks great. All right, so what's step three? Step three, simply check your tire pressure. All four of my tires are loaded or with ballast. Uh, I put water in them here in Florida. You know, we don't have to worry about them freezing. I'll add a card up here for you to check out that process to add ballast to your tires pretty simple process uh, but since I've got uh, ballast in all four of my tires I do a visual inspection make sure the tread wear is even I look at the side walls and then if need be I'll add air to it I'll put my valve stems at 12 o'clock positions and then uh, fill up if I see the air uh, if I see any type of sagging or droop in my tires or uneven uh, tread wear that's what I'll do so that's what uh, if you don't have ballast in your tires Go ahead and check your air pressure and fill them up to the owner's manual specifications. All right, we're almost done. We only got one more step, and that's to grease the tractor. All right, I'm going to put another card up here in the corner about how to grease the tractor and where all the grease fittings or zerk fittings are on the 4540, 4550. Uh, because some of them, man, they like to play hide and seek, but, you know, you can find them all if you look hard enough. And so I'm going to go ahead and take care of that. I'm going to grease my whole tractor. I do have a locking lube onto, on my grease gun. I did a review on that as well. I'll put a, a video for that. I'll put the link in that description as well or put a card up here for the lock and loop. This thing makes your life easy. Let's go ahead and get started on. Okay, that's it for the 150 hour service. Four steps, check your coolant, check your coolant hoses, check your tire pressure, grease your tractor. Super, super simple. But now let me show you how I do the hydraulic strainer and how I clean that out. Okay, let's get to that. All right, to do your hydraulic strainer 
what you're going to have to do is you have to have a bucket underneath your hydraulic, uh, the, where it's located, the, can the canister, because you're going to lose some hydro hydraulic fluid. And so you're going to need to replenish that. And uh, I always put gloves on when I'm working around the fluids and stuff. You think our grandpa, you think our grandpas and our great grandpas, you think they laugh at us for wearing gloves when we're working on greasy stuff? Because you know they didn't back in the day. Uh, but anyway, so you can either use a screwdriver uh, to take the hose clamps off, or you can use the, um, the, the socket to take it off as well. do your hydraulic strainer what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to have a 9 30 seconds socket or a flat screwdriver and a 3 16 allen wrench that's the two tools you're going to need to take this off with you're going to need a container to catch your fluid with and uh, it's a pretty simple process all you have to do back those hose clamps off remove that uh, back that out of the way take the canister lid off of it remove the strainer clean it with diesel something like that put it back together okay so let me show you the process of how it works okay so here's your two hose clamps that I'm gonna take off with a 9 30 seconds I'm gonna not take off I'm gonna loosen I'm gonna take them off and this allows all right so once you get this hose clamps loose and off you're gonna take this hose or this sleeve here off this metal tubing and be prepared for a bunch of hydraulic fluid to jump out here so just work it back like so and now you're going to lose that hydraulic fluid but again that's why you got to replenish it right. for your hydraulic canister uh, strainer it's in this canister here and it's only got two bolts and it's got the uh, one on top and one on bottom here 3 16 allen wrench takes care of those So this is your hydraulic strainer. And so let me get up close to it. You can see it's got these filters. You can see how it's caught these little micro pieces of metal and shards. So it's doing a really good job of keeping it clean out of your hydraulic system. So now we gotta clean this off. We got it all clean to put it back in. And I just put this together to kind of keep it from leaking so much, but uh, So just put it back in. It's gonna be a tight fit, but it'll go in there. You could take the, you could put the strainer in there first, the filter in there first, and then put the cap over it like so. Put the top one on. Slide the bottom one on, tighten her down. It's a relatively simple process. Just a, you know, again, the strainer or the filter, whatever it's called, is a little, a little snug in there to get past this, but obviously not impossible. Get her nice and tight so it doesn't leak. So that was the 150 hour service plus showing you how to clean your hydraulic strainer. It's a super easy process, literally, with the filming it took all of 30 minutes you want to make sure that you've got a container that's going to catch that hydraulic fluid uh underneath the underneath the hoses and stuff you don't want it leaking all over the ground and stuff i would estimate that I lost about three and a half maybe four gallons of fluid during this process so you want to make sure that you've got something that's going to catch that amount of fluid and uh and then i'm going to replace it with the mahindra uh, tractor hydraulic fluid it's the universal red the ultra red I'm gonna put about three and a half four gallons of it in here check it uh, make sure I'm checking it on level ground uh, and then I'll replenish it that way so hey listen I really appreciate you watching I, I hope this video helps you I hope this video um, has taught you something I'm not a mechanic by any stretch of the imagination but this is just how I do it and so hopefully you can get some tips uh, on how to do your 150 hour service or how to clean your hydraulic strainer I'd love for you to subscribe to our channel.
Uh, it doesn't cost you anything. It's free to subscribe. Just click that little red subscribe button under here. And what you're going to do is you're, there'll be a little bell, a little symbol of a bell. Click that bell and you'll be notified on when we're posting new videos. Again, it's a totally free service that YouTube offers. So we appreciate you doing that and helping our channel grow. As always, we appreciate you watching. Follow us on all our social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. It's all Hamiltonville Farm. Y'all take care and we'll see you on the next video.